Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Last time we had the run-in with the uh, Oracle of Apollo, which was pretty cool. And now we are standing, staring out into a vast city where we're gonna go murder a guy, as per usual. So I hope you all enjoy and I'll be back with you in a second. Like, I don't know, I'm kind of a fan of cities that like go up on a hill, you know, it's statistically, or statistically, strategically sound to have that sort of a building. Like, like a way to build your your town so that like at least part of it's on the high ground. Makes it so that if you have to like fire arrows from inside the walls, you don't necessarily hit inside your own walls. You hit outside them. Ooh, I keep doing that on accident. Can we? No, we. Can okay, let's just go. I was like, follow the road. Just kidding. We're on a mountain. I was following the road, and then things got a bit, you know, wonky, so. I had to go off and do the oracle thing. Is this whole city... Oh, shoot. There's a golden... A golden question mark in there. Who the food what? Who the what? Who what? Why? That wasn't an animal. Animals just get immediately mad. That was a guard of some sort, or a bandit. Can I go in this city without getting in trouble? What? Whoa! Sirene? Okay. Wow, it's written in... That was not written in Egyptian. No! There's too many side quests and I'm trying to focus. Okay, that guard didn't get mad. Mayhaps I can go in the city. Hey, I can go in the city. And there's... Oh, many. Wow, okay, whole new city, okay. Oh boy, whole new city. A whole new city is like a whole new like area to explore in and of itself. Like, there's just so much in. Look at what's in here! Mousetrap. Are you not entertained? The flea of Siren. Founding father. Are you not entertained again? Jeez. Okay. Oh, good. I have Cyrene here as a place I can fast travel to as well. So that's good. Okay. What's this golden question mark? Usually, a golden question mark indicates a stone circle or a tomb that I can, like, get those crystals in. Okay, it's right. I thought this was Flavius for a second, and I was like, oh my gosh, but no, it's the friend that I gotta talk to. What's this, though? Is this, a, is this the Colosseum? You were sitting in the road. I saw you. <laughs> Okay, or it's an arena, that's right. <laughs> the other option is, is it's an arena, which is really lame. No side quest, I don't have time for you. Hello. 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 I'm trying, okay. I was like, I don't know if it worked, but I'm trying to talk to you. Hello! My social skills are lacking, I'm a murderer. I've gone maybe a little bit insane. Came back from Balagre with a crook up his arse. Demanded my taxes for the He's year. handsome. They burned my farm when I refused. And you are sure it was Leander's men? My wife said no good would come of defying him. I hate it when she's <laughs> right. Leander will pay. You have my word. He's a young revolutionary. Your word, Diocles? Will not sow my scorched fields? Bring my goats back to life? I am done handsome. with Handsome! End this land. Your word. <laughs> He's very handsome. Almost as handsome as Bayek. And how has our most venerated magistrate extorted you, Egyptian? Praxila said you could help me. I am Bayek. Am I getting caught up in a revolution? Another revolution? Do you know how many revolutions I have on my hand? There's the Greek, and it's kind of an Egyptian one too, a little bit. There's, I mean, the mostly the mostly the Egyptian one, and then the Greeks are involved in that one, and they're trying to like figure things out. And we have the Ptolemaic rule, but then we have Julius Caesar right. being involved. As well as anyone can be with Flavius desecrating your land. 
I followed that fucker's murderous trail all the way from Siwa. So the rumors? True. As are his preparations for war. One more oppressor. Egypt will never be stable again. Invasions upon invasions. Flavius will make of Egypt one giant tomb. He rules from the Acropolis, but is crawling with Romans. I pray the dice fall in your favor, Bayek. I must deal with his lapdog, the magistrate Leander. Seek me out again, if you would be a friend to Cyrene. Thank you, Diocles. It is time for my son to enter the field of reeds. For the rarest and most exotic Shh, goods busy. in Cyrene, talk to the mouse! He's in the Acropolis. Hey, you there! Oh, no. I we need very... no creed, no indoctrination. No creed? We do not lurk in the shadows. We stride in the light. Uh... It is just order of ancient propaganda. Flavius has turned you into the enemies of freedom. Sons of Prometheus, you will follow us. Only by serving the order can you be saved. Our only desire is wow. that the world be We don't usually interact with those people. Place of order, symmetry, Find an assassinate Flavius. Yeah, that's gonna be something I can do. They're, the dress is very different in Rome. Like, not super different, but it's definitely different enough from the Greeks that, like, the fabric looks a little different, too. It's interesting. Nice little touches. Uh, but the Romans did copy a lot of things from the Greeks. Of course, he's in a mega guarded area. Oh. I'm not, it's not gonna be easy. Like, I can't, I'm not gonna, Septimius is still around. I shouldn't be, I'm not gonna be able to kill, I'm not gonna be able to kill Flavius with Septimius still around. That's not the way, that's not the way the Assassin Creed target order works. You don't, you don't kill the person at the top without killing everybody on the bottom first. I need to find Septimius before I can do any of this. I should not be seen in this area. I feel anyway. Let's see how far I get. I just want to sneak in and kill him. I don't want to have to murder people. Too many, anyway. Oh, yep. I'm starting to get to areas where it's like, mate, are you sure you don't want to go and do side quests and level up? I'm like, you realize Bayek, you know how Bayek and I are talking? Like, that's giving me, like, low-key anxiety. Like, I feel like I need to complete their quest. I need to do it. It looks like a lot of people are sleeping. Sneaky, sneaky. I guess you don't normally. I'll see if I can get this guy murdered in his sleep. But if I can't, I'm not going to worry about it. <gasps> I can't. Okay, I'm going to poison him. Poison, 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 poison. Poison! Can I not poison him? Great. There we go. <gasps> no! My God! He's getting me! <sighs> okay. Where am I going? I need to go up here. There's stairs, there might be a way in. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I need to get out of this room. Nope, out of the window, out the window. And hope we don't encounter any more guards that I couldn't see. New location discovered, oh nice. Maybe I can get this that guy distracted. Oh, please. No, don't do it. Okay. Distract? No? No distracting? No? Oh, there's a guard right there, too. No beans. It's fine. Uh, okay, go fast. 
Go, 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 go. Well, okay, well, there's no sneaking up on him. We gotta have cutscenes. If they put me in an arena, I'm gonna be peeved. Please, no, please don't have us do a monologue. Please, I just wanna, I just wanna assassinate him. Do you think I can Skull King in the shadows, Bayek of Sibon. How did you know? I have followed your path of murder and madness all the way from my homeland. And now, you will answer for my son's death, Roman! No. It's <gasps> it. Now you will bow before your Oh God. crap! Oh crap! Oh oh crap! Oh crap. If you pull in people, I'm gonna be really Why didn't you kill me with the Alexandria? You should have joined the order. You lead us. No, I don't. But you chose Oh my gosh, this is gonna be really complicated, isn't it? Come on. The man who killed my son. Cowering in another temple. Ooh, I got slowed. Oh, he can slow me. He can slow time down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no, cultists. Oh, these are the people I. Yeah, these are the people I, I killed. Oh crap! Oh crap! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! So they all need is one hit on them, but still. Ow. Your time on this sand has ended. On this sand, I like that. Just like all the others. Who broke? And just all the people that you like hurt on the way here. My power, my potential. You're just a. Can you not feel it? You're just, you're just an average, everyday guy. He's just, one, he's just. There's like so many like him, like even nowadays, where it's like I know everything and I deserve greatness. Try to death me, me. You better let me get his ability out. The only chance I have is to like actually. You robbed my son of his afterlife. Wait, how? How did I? Is it just because we need to like get revenge that that Camu can't r run in the field of reeds? Because he didn't take anything from him. Like, oh crap! As far as I know. Whew, ow, ow. Uh, I saw that coming from a mile away and did nothing. Ha, you dare to stand against me. Ow. Oh, what? What? I get to heal. This is not fair. I get to... Mm. <gasps> Whoa, you came out of nowhere. No, 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 no. Oh wow, it doesn't it doesn't count with against these guys? Oh please, oh please, oh please, at least let me get one. Oh, Rick. I can't I can't hit them before they hit me! Oh my gosh, it takes forever to get the stupid bow out! I wasn't sure if I could hit that little area where he's like being invisible or not, if it counted. You will be judged in the door. Oh. Oh. I'm so glad nobody else came in. Ah, oh, this is a good one. Please. 
Are we not gonna go in? Okay, I was like, you're not gonna go in. He was a child, Flavius. My child. Now that's the one thing I do not regret in my life. I will never give you peace. Your son's death made the order bow to me. Caesar, even. I had Rome. It gave me an empire of a thousand sons, each one greater than the last. Yeah! Ah! Come on! Finish me! You coward! The waste of time! <laughs> yeah, I can't what? Do it. I, can't do it. I can't do it! Why? It's alright, Papa. Why can't we kill no. this guy? I will, I will lose you forever. Not forever. I will be waiting for you in the field of reeds. Why can't we kill Flavius? After everything we've done. Get re like sort of revenge. Hamo will avenge his own death from the spirit world. I poison you. This relic should never be found again. Almost there. <laughs> I must know our son's car has been put to rest. Because, uh, yeah, the, so is the car. Yeah, the thing where it's like, if there was anything left and done in your left undone in your life when you died, it's like a. Karma, sort of? Ooh, crap. Roibere, tuilo. Now you come in. I think the only way out, really, is through. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I tried. Nope, I'm going, I'm out, I'm bye. Bye-bye. Peace. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have fun. Wow, so I actually didn't... Like, I, I thought there at some point Bayek might have some sort of thing where, like, he realizes how much blood he has on his hands and even if these people deserve to die, like... I thought there might at some point be something where Bayek was like, you know, I'm, I'm tired of killing, even if it's for my son. But like, also like, would his son have wanted him to do this? Like, stuff like that, you know? But it's like, at the same time, if we, if we look at the Ka thing, like, his son's Ka wasn't at rest, so he couldn't move on. His son couldn't move on. But I think also it's, at least, the, at least in the Western world, it's something where you if you in some parts of the western world if you the people who live on after a loved one has died if they hold on to the memory of the loved one it doesn't let them move on and that's how like ghosts and stuff can happen and i'm sure it's in other parts of the world too it's probably in lots of places in the world where like if you as the living like lo like lover or whoever um can't let go of the memory of your dead loved one, they can't move on. And it's sort of, you know, a torture for them, as well as for you. So, that's interesting. With the Ka, it's like, it's basically like his spirit, like setting his spirit to rest, and then he can move on. But, but Kimu, as far as I can tell, unless it was all just like in Bayek's head, Kimu will be able to go into the field of reeds now because he has. I'm just kind of wandering and talking, but I'm going to this uh, fast travel point. Uh, Kimu, Kimu has Uti, sort of fulfilled it on his own. But like, we had to put the like the the last blow technically. Like we technically killed him, and but it was just. It was just by it. It was just the feather part where it was like sending him on to the duo or whatever, to the to the afterlife, like his spirit to the afterlife, essentially. 
So that, I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't think that Bayek would falter there. And it was. It was. It turns out so it was this guy who killed our son. Like, he actually, he did it. He's the one besides, uh, you know, our hand, obviously, that did it. What? I didn't mean to... I don't know. I thought maybe Bayek was gonna, like, realize that in the end it was him, it was his own hand that killed his son, even if it was somebody else who pushed his son onto the blade. Um, and I didn't think it would be, I mean, it wasn't easy, but I still have Septimius, which is weird. Like, this is a very, you know, you don't usually do, the, do it this out of order. It was the murder of Bayek and Aya's son, consumed by madness and a bloodthirsty desire for power. He cut a bloody swath of the Roman province of Kiranaka with the Oracle's relic. When Bayek in turn took Flavius's life, the monster showed no remorse for the terrible things he'd done. Cold and calculating to the end, he mocked Bayek and expounded the glory of Romia. And killing him brought no peace or satisfaction to Bayek because he had felt no remorse. I would think he would at least be upset that he was dying and wasn't going to be able to complete what he, what he had done. But at the same time, he was mad. He was mad, apparently. Last of the, the Medjai returns to the den and meets Aya along with her new Roman allies. Thank you for spoiling it, game. I appreciate it. Uh, nope. Okay. And we have the oracles. Oh boy. It's not good. I don't want it. But where's the staff? He, he didn't have the staff, so we're still missing a piece. So that's why it's not, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, why is it, it's not active? So like, am I gonna like not go mad or like have other people go mad around me? But if it's not got the staff with it that activates it, I think it'll be pretty dormant. Jeez though, that was, I don't, I'm kind of, I hope maybe Aya can clarify a little bit of what went on. I don't, or Bayek himself will clarify because I don't know why after killing everybody to get here, Bayek was like the one person who actually killed his son. He couldn't do. But he couldn't. He couldn't kill him, even though he knew it would make it so his son's ka would not be at rest. So that was a little bit like unless Bayek had said something like, you know, I've done so much to get to this point, and like, not it's all for nothing. But like, it isn't. It's for his son. So I don't know. I felt like that was a little weird. If someone wants to explain it, feel free. If it's gonna be explained further in the game, then don't worry about it. But yeah, for now, I'm a little bit like I was expecting that, but not there. You know, I was expecting him to have some sort of something like that, but not at that moment. So, a little weird. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And we're, uh, the, I saw the achievement pop up that said, almost there. I was like, nice, nice achievement. It's a long game, but like, it's very worth it. Well, well worth it. So, but thank you all again for watching. Sorry this one went a bit long. Things just kind of went woo, and we killed Flavius the lion. So cool beans. Now we just have Septimius, who we have like a very personal grudge against, even though Flavius was actually the one who killed our son, not Septimius. And we know that now. I don't know. Weird stuff going on. We'll figure it out. Thanks. Bye.